shattered. Harry and Meghan on the verge of split up, worst fight ever breaks out. Twelve months back, Woman's Working Day documented Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had a massive struggle, and it may perhaps have spelled the stop for their connection. Apparently, Harry was furious to discover out Markle had fed info to the authors of Finding Freedom, an unauthorized biography of the Sussexes. And that wasn't all. Markle also recorded a video encouraging individuals to vote for Joe Biden, but the journal spelled out that involving herself in an election is the best royal etiquette no no. But worst of all, Markle pressured Harry into signing their multi-million dollar deal with Netflix. According to the source, it was Meghan's idea, Harry went along with it because he figured as an actress, she knew best. The tipster added, I imagine they've had blazing rows over it all since Netflix produces The Crown, a show that dramatized the failure of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana's marriage. And finally, the magazine suggested Harry was blaming Markle for all the bad press they'd received since moving to the States. Even though the tale appeared not likely very last year when it was published, it now appears downright outlandish. Couples are permitted to combat from time to time, but it's painfully clear this row under no circumstances occurred. Initial of all, anyone close sufficient to the Sussexes to know the moment facts of their arguments must be deserving of their absolute rely on. And we seriously doubt an individual like that is working to an Australian tabloid to dish their dust. Furthermore, we seriously doubt Harry took any issue with Markle's actions. Firstly, Markle spoke to friends who were given the grace to speak to the authors of Finding Freedom. While that may seem like an inconsequential difference, it's important to note that Markle didn't give the authors any direct information, that's a crucial distinction in journalism. As for Markle's political stance, she's an American citizen and former royal. She has every right to discuss American elections, and the royal family has no say in that whatsoever now. Ultimately, if this struggle was as key as the tabloid produced it out to be, why did no respected source report on it? An full calendar year has handed, and not a single credible report emerged to back again it up. In simple fact, Markle and Harry seem to be to be performing wonderful. In the time considering the fact that this report went to print, they welcomed their second little one to the environment. They also graced the Include of Time 100 as two of their most influential persons. We're self-confident in declaring that there was under no circumstances any truth to this report. In the time since this short article was printed, Woman's Day hasn't redeemed alone. The tabloid claimed Markle was feuding with her neighbor, Katy Perry. Then the journal alleged Markle was begging the Queen to permit her stop by the UK. And a lot more a short while ago, the outlet alleged Markle flew into a jealous rage connected to Kate Middleton. Of course, Woman's Day can't be trusted when it comes to the Duchess of Sussex. Recently, Florence St. George, Prinnick Harry's ex-girlfriend has said she feels lucky that her relationship with Prince Harry was short-lived because she struggled to deal with the publicity. The model, who briefly dated the Duke of Sussex in 2011, recalled their short-lived relationship in the latest issue of the Telegraph's Stella magazine. St. George, 35, said the relationship brought a wave of scrutiny from the media and the public, and that her privacy ended abruptly. A new story would appear almost every day in the press, my school friends were interrogated and there were photographers outside my front door, she recalled. St. George did not state why the pair broke up, only that she was sad at the time. I take my hat off to those people who can cope with that lifestyle, but I knew I couldn't. Although it was sad at the time, I feel lucky that the relationship was short-lived, she said.